Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at this TTO2 clone I got from eBay for less than $120. I will have the listing in the description below if you're interested in getting one for yourself. I got this because I wanted to see if the aluminum parts would fit onto a real Tamiya TTO2 chassis. As you can see, a majority of the drivetrain and suspension components are made of this blue anodized aluminum. So let's take a look at what you get. The bumper mount, the four dampers, front and rear upper arms, front and rear upper suspension mount, all four outdrives, dog bones, and drive shafts, front and rear lower arms, front and rear lower suspension mount, front and rear damper stays, propeller shaft bearing holder, steering rack, Servo mount, a little bit hard to see, but they're there, one on each side. Propeller shaft and both propeller joints. And finally, the battery post and the battery holder and the differential bevel gears are all aluminum. And this kit uses shielded ball bearings throughout. Plastic parts include the tub chassis, both diff covers, both diff bodies, all four uprights, the spirit gear cover, the steering links, and the body posts. It also comes with these wheels and directional tires. And of course, it comes with this foam bumper, body clips, and some extra screws. I think if you bought all of these parts individually, it would cost well over $200. So the value is here. So let me tell you what you'll need to build a working RC car. You need the transmitter receiver, a servo and servo saver, a ESC, a motor, also need a pinion gear, battery, battery charger, and a 257 millimeter wheelbase body. And before you take it for a drive, you'll need to open up the diff covers and grease the direct coupling ring gears front and back. I went as far as opening the diffs and there were already grease inside and that's how I knew the diff gears were not plastic. You'll also need to add oil to the dampers as they come completely dry. I also noticed these springs were way too stiff it actually takes force to push this down. It gives the chassis this ridiculous 13 millimeter ride height for a touring car TTO2. My TTO2 Subaru has the same ride height, but it has flipped uprights and 69 millimeter tires. I changed out the rear springs with ones from this Yeah Racing cutest damper set. The dampers themselves are on the Type SRX kit. I'm using the extra springs that came in the set. They fit perfectly, they're the right diameter and length. You can buy the cutest set or any other 55 millimeter touring car dampers and put it on this car. You can also just buy the Yad Racing cutest springs themselves. Another thing that concerns me is these tires are made of a very cheap rubber. I don't think these will last more than one driving session. So I would have another set of wheels and tires ready or just swap them out completely. Build quality wise, I don't see any problems. The aluminum parts are well machined. The fit and finish is very good. I haven't driven it yet, so I don't know how well it's going to do on the ground, but I suspect it'll drive like any other TTO2 out of the box. There are other TTO2 parts kits that contain mostly the same aluminum parts. Those range from between $50 to $85, depending on if you wanted to ship from overseas or locally. This clone chassis kit is good for someone who wants to install the electronics and go. It's also good as a standby donor car for parts you eventually want to upgrade. I'm going to take this car apart and do a separate video where I build a complete TTO2 kit using these aluminum parts. I want to make sure these are compatible with the real thing. So look for that video in the near future. So thanks for watching my review of this TTO2 clone chassis kit. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share with a friend. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.